poodle enthusiasts are among the proudest of all breed owners. Whether you have a standard, miniature, or toy poodle, all have the same build and proportion. However, any poodle parent will tell you that the personalities are different by size. All poodles have physical grace, exceptional intelligence, and remarkable athletic ability. In this video, we will check out 10 things only poodle dog owners understand. Number 10. They love to learn new tricks. Poodles are very smart, and as such, they have a tendency to be able to learn more tricks than a lot of other breeds. If you're willing to put in the time and the effort, you can teach them to do just about anything you want. They also get something in return for learning all these tricks. They get time spent with you, mental stimulation, and an opportunity to please you, which is exactly what they want. All that time you spend training also enhances the bond that you already have with your dog, giving you a chance to enjoy that relationship more fully. Number nine, they love to be with you. Like so many other dog breeds, Poodles don't really like to be left alone. If at all possible, you might consider taking your dog with you when you leave the house. They like to go on car rides and they are usually well behaved enough that you can even take them to work with you, provided you have given them the proper training and the facility where you work has a policy that allows bringing your dog with you on a daily basis. They focus all of their attention on you and they like to be with you as much as possible. Poodles are relatively healthy breeds, but just like any other dog breed, there can be certain things that seem to crop up more often than it might in other breeds. As a direct result, it is vitally important that you really know your dog, including how she acts on a day-to-day -day basis and what she enjoys doing the most. If you are attentive enough, you can often pick up on subtle behavioral changes that might have a medical cause and then do something proactive about that issue before it becomes a true threat to your dog's health. Number eight, sometimes they just want to be alone. Even though they love to be with you and they are stimulated by learning new tricks, there are times when they simply prefer to be left alone. This doesn't necessarily mean that something is wrong with your dog and it certainly doesn't mean that your dog no longer loves you. Just as you need solitary time when you aren't around anyone else, your dog needs the same thing. It is perfectly natural for them to want to be by themselves from time to time. So it isn't anything that you should get upset about. Number seven, they love special treats. This one may not be specific to only poodles as virtually every dog loves treatsies. Poodles do seem to have a tendency to be a little more discerning when it comes to their taste buds than a lot of other breeds. Because of that fact, they often love those special treats that you pick up at the pet store or specialty shop that focuses on bait goods for dogs. They may not respond as well to your run-of-the-mill treats that come out of a bag you bought off a grocery store shelf. If you have any problems while training your dog, it is important to keep this in mind. If you switch to a treat they like better, you're likely to see results that are far superior. Number six, love is a commitment. Poodles can typically live until they are about 13 years old and a fair majority of them make it a few years longer. Therefore, you have to be certain that you are willing to commit to having a relationship with your dog for more than a decade and that you can dedicate time and effort to that dog in order to develop the bond you share even further. It isn't enough just to get a dog, put it in the backyard, and the only time you see it is when you are filling up the food bowl once or twice a day. They need love, attention, and time in order to feel like they are really a member of the family. If you're going to get a dog because you want to have that special bond that involves unconditional love, you should want to spend time with them in the first place. They often enjoy making new friends. Poodles are exceptionally social creatures. They like making as many friends as possible in most cases. This makes them good family pets 
and it also makes them a good option for a lot of people that are first-time dog owners because they are often easier to socialize with people and other animals than many other breeds might be. Number five, one of their favorite things is playing outside. What dog doesn't enjoy having the opportunity to go outside and romp around? Poodles absolutely love getting the chance to do this, but more often than not, their favorite thing is playing outside when you make the choice to play with them. This might mean going outside for a game of fetch, allowing them to catch a frisbee, or simply playing a game of tug rope with them outdoors. Some poodles love to play hide and seek and others will be delighted if you allow them to chase you around. All of it is good exercise and it gives you both a chance to get outside and burn off some stress for the day. In other words, it creates a positive situation for both you individually and it increases the bond you share together. Number four, they are affectionate. Generally speaking, poodles have a tendency to be extremely affectionate animals. Most of them like to cuddle and give kisses, and in most cases, they don't usually mind being hugged. If you are looking for a dog that you can bring into the family that will allow everyone to hug on it and pet it, a poodle is always a good option. Remember, every dog is different, so getting a poodle doesn't guarantee that you'll get all of these things. While this is the case with most dogs of this breed, every dog is an individual, so it is important to meet the animal and see if the dog and the family match well together before creating a permanent situation. Number three, sometimes they get scared easily. With that being said, some poodles seem to be more frightened by these situations than other breeds. Perhaps they are better able to hear the sounds that are going on so they are amplified in the dog's brain. Maybe it is just part of their emotional composition. Whatever the reason might be, you may have to take extra measures to help keep your dog calm during these types of circumstances. This can usually be accomplished by putting your dog in a room that is a little smaller with some comforting music and drawing the shades or putting a towel or vest on your dog to make them feel more secure. In extreme cases, you can get medication from the veterinarian that will help your dog be more calm in stressful situations. Number two, they respond to your voice. When your dog doesn't understand what you are saying, she knows your voice and will respond to that sound again and again. Your poodle also knows how you are feeling based on the inflection in your voice. As a result, she can tell when you are happy, sad, or angry, as well as when you are excited about something. That is why she will often come up to you automatically and attempt to cuddle when you are angry or feeling blue. Number one, they don't enjoy extremes in weather. If you live in a climate that is exceptionally hot or cold, or has a lot of storms or high winds, your poodle is highly unlikely to enjoy being outside during those types of situations. All you need to do is bring your dog inside when it gets too hot, too cold, or something else is going on with the weather that isn't ideal. The worst thing that you can do is put your poodle outside and leave her there regardless of what is happening, effectively forcing her to deal with extremes in the weather that could physically threaten her as well as traumatize her emotionally. Do let us know in the comment if you love this cute breed. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.